Una welcome for street science, my country people. This one, a platform we would be broke to read about science and other important matter about we health. Na maybe you na host, anoga kwata kwata Dr. Kum. Today we could talk about the origins of science, how science is that. You don't ever wonder how science is that, and how people start for learning. Make we go back for history for see how the search for knowledge it is that. Plenty years ago, we ancestors then we start for ask plenty questions about what did happen for inside everybody and around the world. From the Mesopotamians we be the wash skies to the Egyptians we be use their body for learn about their own body. The ancient people then lay the foundation for what we call them the modern science. For that time, the Mesopotamians they would watch sky every day, and they would talk about them. They could observe stars, moons, and they could follow sun as they wake up for morning, shine during the day, and go down for evening. They could follow moon too, see size. They could see half moon or full moon, and how moon, sun, stars they not come out some days. They could see rain appear for some time. And disappear for some other time, or they forget back again. Then could notice how thunder they come together with rain, and how things that grow or die during different periods. They be notice say some particular events then they always happen together, either place them hot or the cold, or rain they fall or it don't fall. Or leaves them they fresh, or they don't die, and trees them start dry up. So them start record these things them, and they call them say seasons, eclipse, and other plenty names them. And that's so they take a form horoscope and the zodiac signs we know today. Egyptians, then, on the other hand, will use their body for learn about their own body. When person die, they will cut the body. For sitting where they inside the body, although the person not die and the organs are nobly well, they could at least know how to cut open body without destroying the organs. Then, they start to ask plenty questions about the work for the organs the way they way inside the body, and they even call them names. They start for the use live animals for no way to. The functions for the organs in inside the body. They could ask questions and let them use live animals for know the answer. They could cut animal open for try for see what the organs they be do. After that, they could write them down. They could repeat the process for other animals and to for see if the organs and they do for other animals. Naso surgery and biomedical science is that my country people. No format, no be there for that time. Any man be the do he own thing, and any man he tell his story as he want them. But now for ancient Greece, we are Aristotle and other big thinkers then lay the foundation for which we will call them today say the scientific method. Which he be this scientific method. The scientific method is a structured way for know about things then. It start when you see or ask about something. Then you could check sense and make observations. Then you could guess which will be the planet's explanation. Then you could do some experiments and get answers based on which you will find from your experiments. Naso science is there, my country people, and we use the method for explore everything for science. All we be scientists for some way. Now just say some people then they think or hear about something, they not do any kind of investigations, yet they could get story for their own man. This one would they call them say Congo my country people. No be na science. As history continue for the happen, people from Muslim country will call them for big books say the Islamic world 
for the Middle Ages begin to carry the matter for science and knowledge for their head. They not just keep all books, but then use these books then for add plenty of other knowledge then that if it come up with which he would study and study for school, mathematics, astronomy, and even medicine. The Renaissance happened too for Europe, when at a time we would transition from middle-aged people to modern people we would do today. You feel column for big books say, the birth of modernity or the period of enlightenment. Big thinkers like Leonardo da Vinci try to join art and science. Then Kotoxi, the most important thing for life and for fine way to be true. Now for scientific revolution where this thing then really change. People like Galileo and Newton then change the way we see the world. They make science about evidence, yes, about truth. Today, science differ from many things then, from biology and physics to chemistry and plenty other things then, even how for cook food food. Now work with plenty of people they do around the world. For fine weighty, we don't know yet. Science they still change. Because we still find things then. We still be curious. A journey we start very long time ago. And it is still shape our world now. May we continue for fine. Ask and learn together. Thank Huna for watch with me and for follow me for the waka how science is that. I hope say so, Huna learn something and Huna like it. Don't forget for like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more story about science. Until we meet up again, I may be Huna host and Oga Kwata Kwata Dr. Kum. A cut Huna Cafe.